so low. It's <laughs> hanging on for dear life. That is hysterical. Look at it. Oh my goodness. I've never seen. <laughs> Look at the look on that one's face. So unimpressed. <laughs> this is like Comedy Central, everybody. I'm having the greatest time here all on my lonesome. And this is the perks of being able to sit and wait and watch events unfold. This is what we sit and we wait for. Imagine if we left a few minutes ago, if we left 20 minutes ago. We would have missed all of this. And I hope you were all having as good of a laugh as I was. And I'm sorry if you had your volume turned up and my laughter was booming in your ears. <laughs> but I can't contain myself. Nature is just incredible. And this is why these wonderful creatures must stay out in the wild. And luckily they've got eight and a half million acres of land to roam around on. These lions probably won't even see a third of that. Oh. You can see those those two younger ones there. Oh, we're going to have another lion fall off the tree in, in a moment. See, now that's one of the older ones that's up there, venturing further along. They're getting braver and braver as they go. And obviously their balance is a lot better than some of those youngsters. Another bum shot, everybody. That's the perfect apple leaf bum shot. Here we go now. Pay back, push it off. Lovely. I'm snapping my bum, my bum picture. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm loving all the questions and the comments that are coming in this afternoon. So thank you, JD. You made me giggle. JD says that a leopard's tail seems to be quite expressive. But a lion's tail seems to be made of wiggle wire. I love the use of alliteration there. Oh, four cats in a row. And they seem to have no control of it. So, JD, they do have control of it. Um, however, these little ones don't quite know what to do with their tails just yet. So they're still learning. But when they get older, they'll definitely use their tails for communication, for balance, for all sorts of things. We've got another female joining.